Hello again. So um, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to download historical price data from Yahoo into an Excel spreadsheet. Now, you'll have noticed if you're accessing this vid video on my blog that um, there's a download beneath the video, um, which basically what that's going to enable you to do is um, it's an add in for Excel. So if you go ahead and download the add in, um, and what that will enable you to do is to um, grab historical price data from Yahoo and it will automatically populate your spreadsheet with um, all of the ticker symbols that you specified you want data for um, at the date range you've specified um, and you can very easily change um, whether you want daily data or even monthly data um, and it's going to be a massive time saver when you're creating your correlation matrix because it's going to enable you to transfer historical price data from Yahoo to Excel uh, at the click of a button. Um, the old-fashioned way of doing it you would have had to have manually uh, for each individual ticker gone to Yahoo Finance.com and you would have had to have gone back to your spreadsheet and you would have had to have gone to and fro. Now when you're building a matrix which may have 30 or 40 markets that's clearly a very time-consuming thing to have to do so um, I would highly recommend that you uh, download the add-in and um, that's going to save you a lot of time so go ahead and do that don't worry about setting it up for now because um, later on in this video I'm going to come back to it and I'll show you exactly how to set it up and how to use it for now though I'm just going to show for the people who aren't sure um, how to download historical price data from Yahoo into your Excel spreadsheet the good old-fashioned way so the first thing you'll want to do is go to finance.yahoo.com and then in this little um, quote lookup box here you'll just want to enter the ticker symbol of whichever market is it is that you want data for and then um, once that's done you'll want to come to historical prices just click on that and then here we can enter the date that we want the data for and we can also enter the the data points so we can use monthly data weekly data and this will give us the closing price uh, whether it be by month week or day um, so just enter in those dates now usually I'm gonna be looking for about three months worth of data because um, that's um, enough to calculate the correlation matrix the way that I've set it up so we'll just go November the 3rd uh, and this is because it should always automatically give you the end date as the most recent date that you're looking at it on so that's fine so we just need to change the start date and then you want to click on get prices so as you can see now we've got the prices um, going right down to where we started so that's all fine next thing you want to do is to just come down to the bottom of where all the prices are shown and click on download to spreadsheet now depending on what web browser you're using it may automatically open your Excel for you if not though um, such as it has uh, it hasn't done with mine just come to the bottom of your browser click on the download and there we have the spreadsheet with the historical price data included as we uh, as we wanted so um, that's the good old-fashioned way of doing it um, and this is what we would have had to have done bef before using the add-in I would have had to have copied and pasted every single adjusted close column uh, and I would have had to have sorted those for lots of different ticker symbols so let's have a look at how we actually use the add-in so the first thing you'll want to do once you've downloaded it is to open up an Excel spreadsheet so let's say we've got a new spreadsheet open and then to access the add-ins you'll want to come to file so left click on file come down to options left click and then um, down here on the left hand side you'll see your add-ins so left click on add-ins and then at the bottom of the page here we've got manage so what you'll want to do is click on Excel add-ins click on go and now obviously I've already got mine in here you may not have so what you would want to do is come to browse and then you would want to find the download from my website which will be called finance data to Excel 
and that's why I recommend that when you do download the file from my website make sure you download it to an easily accessible place such as your desktop and there it is so you would just find it click it click on open and then you would have the final state of to Excel available in the add-ins make sure that the box is ticked click OK and then if you come to the top of your Excel spreadsheet you will see add-ins now what we then have is this little Y download so that is our finance data to Excel add-in click on that and then if you want more than one ticker symbol to populate your spreadsheet you would click on get history bulk so left click that and what we got here we've got tickers range so in here we're going to want to tell the add-in all the tickers that we want historical price data for the start date obviously we enter the data uh, where we want the data to begin the end date we tell it where we want the data to end you can change the frequency of the data to daily monthly or yearly and the output range is simply tells the spreadsheet where you want the data to populate your spreadsheet you can also um, bring in open data high low close etc for our purposes we're only ever going to need the date and the adjusted close okay so that's a general overview of the add-in so the first thing you'll need to do though is to populate your spreadsheet with the um, the names of the ticker symbols you're interested in receiving data for. So just by way of example I've put in SPY, COW, UGA and USO but you can do uh, as many of these markets as you'll need. I mean I'm not entirely sure if there's a limit but I've got 40 and it handles 40 markets fine. Um, but for now we'll just use these four as an example. So what you would then do is click where you're going to want the data to start click on your Y download, download and add in get history bulk and then where it says ticker range click the little the little dash there click the first ticker symbol you're interested in drag down all the ticker symbols you have so we've got four press enter put in the start date so we're gonna go to 2013 November second put in the end date you're interested in now that should automatically be the most recent date so that's fine for us frequency is daily that's what we want and then just click download and there we have the adjusted closing prices of the markets we wanted um, and as I say you can very quickly um, get the, the, the price data for lots of different markets at the click of a button. Now on the next video if you look in the downloads um, I've got an entire spreadsheet set up which also includes uh, all the ticker symbols I use in the diverse ET ETF matrix um, and it's also a complete example of the correlation spreadsheet that I run so if you go to that uh, video and um, in the downloads make sure you download that spreadsheet and you will then be able to copy and paste the entire ticker symbol list um, over to your own spreadsheet and you'll, um, you'll be ready to go then um, and ready to use this add-in very easily so I hope that video has been of some help and um, make sure to have a look at the next video to learn exactly how to build and calculate your own correlation matrix using free historical data and Excel. Thanks for watching. Take care.